Hey everyone, I'm Xonani. Welcome to my new video. I made the 100 days of the 100 day of sketching challenge. That means to sketch every day for 100 days in a row, at least for six minutes or more, if you like. I made a video about the start and day one. And of course, all the infos about the 100 days of sketching challenge. And there's also a video about the first 50 days. I will link you both videos here in my description. In this video, I will show you what I created the second 50 days until day 100. We will start with this little sketchbook here, where the most of my 100 pieces are in. Day 51. I used watercolors and black markers for this one. I have to say I was a bit tired as I started in the second half. It got harder to get motivation and my goal to come to new ideas during this 100 days hadn't gotten reality yet. Spoiler, it will. Day 52. I wanted to create something funny and I like this. Lipstick crayons in the background and markers and neo color too on top. On day 53 I used a new watercolor I bought, Chromium Oxide Green Brill from Schminke Horadam and this color is awesome. Day 54 I also used my new color and I got a bit more psychedelic here. On both I used colored pencils on top. Day 55. This one I don't like so much. I tried to combine a face with my cute spirits somehow. But this is one of my first steps in the right direction. The face is not reduced enough. I mean I wanted to have it more in comic style. But I didn't know how I wanted yet. Day 56. I like this one, again with my new chromium oxide green brill and colored pencils. Day 57. This prompt came from one of you, a frog in a teacup. I enjoyed it a lot and I like the result, this was fun. I have to say I didn't make it to draw all of your suggestions, but they are not lost. They stay on my list for drawing ideas and I will draw them someday and I will show them to you then of course. So don't be sad if your prompt isn't painted yet. Day 58. This was my review about the Stabilo Woodies and they were so much fun. This is also a video I made for you. I will link all the videos from the second 50 days in my description. Perhaps you would like to watch them as well later. This was also the same day with the Woodies. Day 59. A little self-motivation on this day. I mostly worked on this daily challenge late in the evening, so I needed a bit of motivation. Day 60. A few more mushroom cuties, nothing special, but then I got new paints and for day 61 that changed something. I got the carandage gouache and pants and they changed something in my brain. I love this opaqueness and vibrant colors and here it comes the development. Day 62. In the flow with my new paints I painted this cute totem and the characters I created from this point on fit so perfect to my cute spirits. There happened a lot in these days in my brain, what influenced everything until now. I came to new ideas and I experimented a lot more. I climbed out my swamp of always the same and stepped in something new. Even if you can see it so much as I can. Day 63. 
was the upgrade 49. This was the artwork I created with acrylics and a black marker. This was fun. Day 64, again gouache. I experimented with different colors for a base here. It was pink and I liked the result. Oh, I almost forgot, this also was day 63 with the leftovers of the acrylic paints to not waste them and the marker of the box on top. Day 65 and day 66. This one took two days. I started this on a friend's place. We meet here and there to paint together. It was a very nice day and I really love the idea and result of this illustration. I will use this one for a bigger artwork someday with acrylics. Day 67. Also gouache. I like this. Day 68. I painted this for my Carandash gouache in pants review video. I was obsessed from these paints and I still love them a lot. I will also link this video of course. Day 69. Again back to watercolors and colored pencils because painting on the couch with gouache is not very practical. Day 70. Again crayons and markers, a fast one. I had no time and motivation on this day. Day 71. I painted a few birds with gouache also for a video i love birds and painting birds as well on day 72 i painted that hard watercolor gouache and colored pencils on the empty page here because i would like to paint the heart here as the roots when i paint the acrylic painting of this one and day 72 i also painted this alien like creature to fill the empty pages beside my gouache paintings. On day 73 and 74 I made my first prompt in the horror prompt sketchbook from Celabond, Witch's Brew. This was so much fun and I thought about a video series with this prompt book. I really like the prompts in here. Day 75 I painted shapes with watercolors and used black ink on top. This also was fun. Day 76. The left page was for a friend. I used crayons and felt markers on top. I also swatched a selection of watercolor pencils from Faber Castell and used a few of them for the background here and black marker on top. On the next day I sketched this one and I thought it was day 76 so I accidentally had day 76 two times so in real the 100 later was 101 okay then we come to day 77 crayons markers and new color tools i really like the result and the cute character day 78 i painted a few bucks and plants here i love this spread i want to do this more often I miss painting bugs. Day 79. Again crayons, markers and neocolor tools. Like on the other page here in another color scheme, I think it came out cute. Day 80. Again a drawing session with a friend, crayons, markers and neocolor tools. This was a cozy day. Day 81. This spread was a sketchbook video again. I have to say I don't like this spread so much, but I really like the wind spirits. Day 82, crayons and felt marker on top. This is so cute. On day 83, we had a storm flood here in Flensburg and the very north of Germany. This haven't happened in this heaviness in the last 100 years. The flood destroyed a lot here in the town. What a crazy day! Day 84. We visited a friend and we had a very cozy and nice day. I love the result and I like this cute girl and her face. Day 85. A relaxing Sunday at home. 
painted a few forest creatures with watercolors and colored pencils. Day 86, my Halloween video. Another prompt in this horror prompt sketchbook. Voodoo doll, love this piece. Day 87, then all the leaves suddenly got yellow and red and started to fall down. This started very late this year. Aqua markers, crayons and a black marker. Day 88, another cozy day. Watercolor and colored pencils. I like the vibe of this piece. Day 89, these two came to life in my Timo watercolor brush pen test video. One with the Timo pens and one with high quality ones. Day 90. This is a cute little piece. I love it. It's so cute and these roomy cuties in the foreground are just awesome. Day 91. I love this one. I love the whole vibe, the colors, the style. Want to do more like this. Day 92. The left page had a ground layer of quar watercolors on top pit ink pens from Faber Castell and colored pencils. Love this woman so much. I created both backgrounds on this day. On the next day, day 93, I swatched a few of my new Roman small watercolors from Jackson's. I used them for the backgrounds on this page. I like it. Also with pit ink pens from Faber-Castell and colored pencils on the whole spread then. On day 94, this little reminder that most of the things you wished for, you find on yourself. Day 95, again a girl in fern. Day 96, mushroom cuties. I love this spread, it looks so good. Day 97. Watercolors, Karen markers and colored pencils. Day 98. Watercolors, felt marker and colored pencils. Day 99. Watercolor, Karen markers and colored pencils. And finally, day 100 with watercolor, markers and colored pencils. I'm so happy I made this challenge. Yes, I made it not in 100 days. There were a few days where it wasn't possible, like we were all sick here or on the road or I just forgot to do it. So I lost a few days. I started on July the 4th and finished on November the 17th. That means I needed 137 days to do this challenge. Now, when I'm looking at my calculation, I needed 37 days more on top. This was a very challenging time. I struggled, I was inspired, I developed and yeah, it was good to do this. It was a big profit for me in the end. But I have to say, I made a little break after the 100. And I absolutely can recommend this challenge. Every day you make it is a benefit. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tour through the second 50 art pieces of the 100 day project. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support. Then have an awesome day, my friends. See you next time and stay creative. Yours, Xunani.